What's holding you back from creating your own social media video channel, or perhaps making an online video based course? It may be that you're not one of these people so nervous and uncomfortable. You may be thinking, yeah, I'm definitely going to do a course. I've got the expertise. I'm going to start a channel. I could be the next Mr. Beast, or I could be the next how to expert who has millions and millions of subscribers. I'm going to start that course. I'm going to start that channel. I'm going to start posting on all social media tomorrow, right after I get the perfect camera. If you've ever said that you're not alone, this is something that holds so many people back because, Hey, you want to be prepared. You don't want to just jump into something willy nilly and make yourself look like a fool. You realize that speaking in social media, creating video online courses does involve technology. I congratulate you for that. You're absolutely right. But here's the problem. Once you tell yourself it's all dependent on finding the right camera. Next thing you know, you're researching cameras. Oh, this camera looks good, uh, but it's saying people who like this camera also like this. So let me check this one out. And before you know it, you spent six months researching cameras and you're more confused than ever because you have no idea what the best camera is. And now you've invested all this time in trying to figure out the right camera. You can't just get one arbitrarily. Now that would ruin your sunk cost. <laughs> all this time you spent looking at cameras and doing research. So what do you do? Well, let's just think about it before, you know, another six months has gone by and a year has gone by since you told yourself you were going to start that social media video channel. You are going to create that online video based course, demonstrating your expertise where people have been telling you for several years, you should do that course. And we're no further along. Let's step back for a minute. I'm going to tell you something that a lot of influencers won't say, and certainly camera manufacturers don't want to hear your camera doesn't matter. Yes. I've invested in some very expensive cameras. I've got a three camera shoot here and they're very expensive. And my studio costs $20,000 plus you don't need it. All you need is your cell phone. Believe it or not, the modern cell phone, iPhone, other phones, the cameras are so high quality. They're better than a 10 year ago, $50,000 camera. If you want to be more successful, then improve your communication skills. The best way to do that, smash the subscribe button right now. So your problem is not the camera. The problem is you're using the camera as an excuse to start. There's this sense that we all have a, uh, I want to do it, but this is a little scary. Let me tell myself I'm not really procrastinating because I'm doing something really useful like researching cameras. Cause of course I have to have a camera if I'm going to make an online video course, right? I see the logic, but you're only fooling yourself. It is a procrastination technique to say, I've got to find the perfect camera, the perfect microphone, your cell phone without any microphone other than the built-in microphone is so much better than what you're doing today. If what you're doing today is only watching me and not creating your own social media video or not creating your own online video based course, you need to get in the game. You can always upgrade. I've been making videos since most of you have been born since before you were born and I'm always upgrading. And it wasn't even that long ago. I was typically using a $50 webcam. So do not let technology and the desire to get the perfect technology stop you cold in your tracks. Get going, create ideas, share your ideas, share your creativity, just using your cell phone or a simple webcam. It can be a built in webcam in your laptop. If you've got great ideas, useful ideas, people won't really care about how expensive your camera is or how perfect as long as people can see you and they can hear you get in the game. Mr. Beast didn't start off as Mr. Beast with tens of millions of people watching him. He started off with himself and two friends watching him. 
everyone starts off at a low level, unless you're famous from some other field. You start off with a very small audience. So you know what? If your camera isn't very good, no one's going to notice because not that many people are going to watch you in the beginning. And if you spend a ton of money, if you get a hundred thousand dollar camera, not that many people are going to watch you in the beginning. So it's wasted money to do that. So enough with the nonsense. Forget about doing more online searches for perfect lights, perfect microphone, perfect camera, perfect tripod, and instead hit record today.